In Bellarmine's Controversies, chapter 3, he discusses that the best government is one in which monarchy, arist aristocracy, and democracy are all present. Many argue that the U.S. government does this, and that our republic adheres to Bellarmine's outline for a model government. But do we truly match that model government that Bellarmine outlined for, for us? Is it possible that Bellarmine was wrong? Uh, well, of course, it's possible it was wrong, but as far as uh, our matching goes, you gotta remember that Sir Robert Bellman did not originate that. He took it from St. Thomas, he took it from Aristotle. And Aristotle identified three forms of good government and three forms of bad government that were like their evil twins. And then he said the, uh, the, they were uh, monarchy, of whom the evil twin was tyranny. Okay. Uh, aristocracy, of whom the evil twin was oligarchy, and polity, or some people call it democracy, of which the evil twin was mob rule. Ah. Now, he said, the best form of government is one which combines king, nobility, and commons. And in the Middle Ages, this very often expressed itself through what became in modern times parliament. Although, of course, the political class to call power unto itself. Um, what we have is more, uh, it's a mixed government, all right, but it manages to combine tyranny, oligarchy, and mob rule. <laughs> the evil twins? The evil twins. So we've got like an evil twin mixed government. Wow. Or evil triplets, I guess, because there are three of them. Yeah. And the, the, um, uh, the thing is that instead of... Uh, Montesquieu's division into executive, legislative, and judicial. We have more the elected political class who trade the seats between themselves pretty much. Mm -hmm. The bureaucratic class who are basically immobile and determine what's going to happen on a day-to-day -day level anyway. And then the judiciary who make up reality out of their own noses. And the rest of us have to go along and bark like dogs and wear underwear on top of our heads that they tell us to. Okay. So there you go. Okay, so Bellman was right. We just... Well, I mean, uh, he might have been. I, you know, he, was, he, he could have been wrong. He might have been right. But, I mean, in terms of... In terms of... Uh, okay, okay. W w would Charles' favorite government have... Uh, Elements of monarchy, aristocracy, and democracy yeah. all present. Yeah, they yeah, would. It they would. would. Okay. But well, that doesn't mean I'm right. <laughs> no? no? It's your opinion, though. Yeah. Everyone thinks they're right. Yeah, well, everyone thinks they're right, but not everyone is right. What if I'm wrong? What if what we really need is a monarch who'll smack us, but good? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. But no, I, I personally, I, uh, I feel that the medieval model is the best, which really is what Bellman was arguing from. Okay. It had been, uh, in the countries of the Reformation, uh, the church, of course, had uh, given guidance to society, and when that removed, the whole thing had been screwy. And that really is what Sir Robert Bellman was rightly annoyed about. So, what else we got?